Hello everyone, and welcome to a bit of a different type of video. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna... This, this is all unscripted. I'm just gonna say my thoughts and gonna do a few things. So, if you want, put me in the background or something, I don't know. And enjoy this shit Digital Devil Saga uh, gameplay, because I love that game, but I'm shit at it. Anyway, uh, for a bit of context, uh, E3 this year basically got cancelled because of... Uh, Real-life situations that have put the whole world in quarantine, shall we say. That, that's the best way I can put it. And, uh, you know, we lost E3. E3 this year got cancelled. Rip. But that hasn't stopped companies from doing live streams, which, you know, I'm very happy for. And this week, uh, PC Gamer Magazine announced that this very Saturday, on June 13th, 2020, they are going to be live-streaming. And, yeah, uh, they're going to be live streaming some big announcement for PC games on the PC Gaming Show. And among some of the publishers, there was Atlas. Oh, yeah, good old Atlas. We all love Atlas over here. This channel, I love Atlas. You love Atlas. We all love Atlas. Now, this, of course, started speculation. Of, Ooh, Atlas, you know, Persona. They're going to do something with Persona or Shin Megami Tensei, which... Uh, for the record, Atlas do more than just Persona and, and SMT. You know, they got the Etrian Odyssey games. Well, those are pretty neat. And, uh, wow, that's the first, th that's the only one that comes to mind right now. Anyway, yeah, and basically everyone said, oh yeah, Persona. Uh, and yeah, it, it makes sense. Atlas, you know, Persona is one of the biggest series. Eh, makes sense. And, you know, ports, whatever. And I want to make this clear. I am not against any, like ports of Persona games, and this leak claims that Persona 4 Golden is coming to PC. I want to make this very, very clean. I am not against Persona 4 Golden coming to PC at all. I am all for it. I want that game to come, because as someone who has played Persona 4 on PS2 and really liked it, I want to play this uh, enhanced port of Persona uh, 4 on something that isn't a Vita. And if you think about it, the biggest thing it has going for it right now, it's the fact that, you know, porting Persona 4 Golden was one of the best-selling games on the Vita, one of the best reviewed as well. And, you know, the Vita is... <laughs> let's just say, it never reached the heights the PSP uh, reached. Sony pretty much cl killed it off in like three years or something. Hell, I don't think even, they even gave it like a year or something. But the Vita is pretty much a dead platform. It it failed horribly and, you know, it died. It, it's dead. So it makes sense that Atlas would port one of their best-selling games to PC. It's basically what Nintendo has been doing with a lot of Wii U games. They've been porting them to Switch. Uh, it makes sense. You take a really well-reviewed uh, game, uh, a game that sold well, you know, and you take it from a platform that uh, ate some of the fattest shit possible, and you move it to a platform that's actually healthy and, thri and thriving. And it makes sense, you know, it's a well, it's a good game that, you know, it's gonna give you more install base, more people are gonna be able to discover it, and yada yada yada. And it makes sense, you know, porting it from a dead platform to a PC, one of the most, uh, one of the biggest, pla one of the platforms with the biggest install base in the world. Uh, because everyone has a PC. And it makes sense. At face value, it makes sense. Financially, it, it's probably one of the best uh, decisions Atlas and Sega could ever make. And now, I want to point out that this leak was made by one guy on Twitter. Now, uh, I'm gonna bring up the screenshots right now. And this guy says that his source is his friend. <laughs> his friend. is basically, like, his one source is his friend Spaghetti. Who the hell are they? I don't know. I haven't been able to find them on Twitter or anything. But they say that their source is that guy. <sighs> like, that's my biggest red flag, like, uh, you're, who, who's your source? Oh, don't worry, it's me mate. It, it's, me. it's me mate, you know, the one down at the pub. You know, that guy, that mate. That's me mate, the one that's having a coke with some lemon in it. Uh, it's me mate, don't worry, he's got the files. He, he, he's a reliable source, he's me friend, he's me mate. So don't worry, he, he, he's, he's the leaker. And like, okay, does he work at Valve? This is like, oh, don't worry, he's got the files. Th that's another thing, like, we got a hold, like, this fucking tweet. We got a hold of the files, it's confirmed, Persona 4 Golden is coming to Steam. Okay, how did you get a hold of the files? Like, do you work at, this? your friend work at Valve, and Atlas, Sega, where does he work? 
I don't know, it's this sort of very vague stuff, like they're not naming anything specific, which probably could also, uh, you know, be credi credibility towards the fact that it's real, that they're not wanting, that they're not wanting to say who they're affiliated with, that they're not choosing to stay anonymous, you know, so that they don't lose their fucking job, which, yeah, it makes sense, but I don't know, it's still, it's still, eh, still a little bit skeptical. Now, alongside these tweets that the guy says that it's confirmed that it's coming to stream, like, how, okay, like, some random source says it's confirmed. Okay, buddy, I, I believe you. Now, alongside that, we got two major leaks. One is an image of, like, Steam banners and whatnot, you know, the stuff that shows up whenever you look up a game on Steam. And the second one is a Denuvo support page. Ooh, Denuvo. Gotta be talking about that in a bit. Now, the first major one is this image right here, which is basically like the icon and the banner that you find on Steam whenever you click on the game. Uh, as far as I can tell, this image is legit, but also keep in mind that if you have enough experience with Photoshop and you take the time to analyze other leaks of this type that ended up being fake, you can find like sort of discrepancies and you can find like the points that do point into it being fake, so you can, you know, modify and cover your bases. Uh, and if you are skilled enough in Photoshop, you can make some pretty convincing stuff. Now. Again, it looks legit. For the most part, it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with this. Uh, the image on the left, though, like the square one, like the little icon thingy, that one to me looks a bit stretched or weird. I don't know, like vertically stretched. Uh, I'm gonna be putting a comparison right now to like a real Persona 4 Golden logo that I found on here and this thing. It looks stretched to me. It looks weird to me. I, I don't know, maybe I'm just looking at things where there isn't anything and I'm just being paranoid and oversensitive and overly sensitive, who knows. And the one on the right, the one that's like the banner thingy, I have no issues with that one. I don't see anything wrong with it and again, the whole image as a whole does look um, real enough. I just want to point out this little part here that says we're not associated with Valve, which why would, if you're not associated with Valve, why is this like you know part of an official Valve database or something? I don't know. Maybe again, maybe I'm just pointing out something. Something. Maybe I'm pointing out meaning where there, where there is none. And then the second major leak. Moving on to that one. Uh, it's the Denuvo support page. Now, I just want to point out that if this does end up being real, fuck you, Sega, and fuck you, Atlas for choosing the Nuvo. Why the Nuvo? You could have literally picked anything else but the Nuvo. Why fucking the Nuvo? <laughs> oh, it pisses me off. Oh, you could have chosen anything else except the Nuvo. Why did it have to be fucking the Nuvo? Oh, God damn it. Now, uh, if you look at this page right here, and this was also like the, the biggest thing that made this a bit more credible for me than the Steam leak. As far as I've been able to find, in Reddit or Twitter, I haven't been able to find any link links to like the Steam database, which I suppose it makes sense. Like if you leak like Steam database and such, probably Gabe Newell himself is just gonna come to your house and crack your fucking skull open with a sledgehammer. Personally, he's just gonna he's gonna Gabe just <laughs> he's gonna do a Half Life with a crowbar or something. I don't know. Like okay, maybe I understand that. Now this one, I haven't been able to find links to like the Steam database, but uh, there are a couple links to this Denubo support page. And at the time of me recording this, it has been taken down. If you click on the link, which I will be leaving down in the description, uh, you get like a 404, and the, the address itself seems legit for the most part. Uh, I'm just I just want to point out that it has poo at the end <laughs> equals poo. I don't know if that's because of the 404, or that's just how the link originally was, who knows. But the link has been taken down, and it only gives you a 404 error right now. And uh, luckily there are, uh, like, a few screens. there are screenshots, and there is archival links, which I will be, of course, providing in the description below. Um, and yeah, so if we look at this, it looks mostly real. But I do want to point out a few things that I find kind of weird. First of all, in every other uh, Denuvo support page, which again, I will be providing the archival links below that I have seen, uh, in every support page, there's always the game's logo. Not the company, that, not the publisher's logo, not the developer's logo, not a, it's the game itself, like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Deus Ex, whatever. 
Now, you could argue this is a placeholder and that's why they've only put the Sega logo in there. I feel like this is the easiest one to counteract. Uh, but who knows, who knows. Uh, and again, but if you like, if you already have the image that is going to be the banner and the logo of the game on Steam, why not use that? Why just put the, a generic Sega logo in there? Uh, I don't know, it seems, it seems strange to me. And then, the down here, when it says, Dear uh, Game Name Player, uh, it, if you check out every other support page, it has like the names in like these little inverted commas here, like these little inverted simple commas over here. Look at that. Seriously, again, I will be providing the links below, and you can click it and you can check it out for yourself. Every game has like these little inverted commas over here uh, on the game's title. So, and Persona 4 Golden lacks those little commas. Like, it's just a dear Persona 4 Gold, uh, Golden player, it doesn't have like the little thingies over there. Uh, who knows? And yeah, it's. It's a big red flag, at least for me. Maybe I'm again. I'm just overanalyzing. And the second biggest, uh, and the third biggest <laughs> red flag is down here. Uh, the copyright notice. Why does it say copyright Sega 2019? Why shouldn't it be 2020? Shouldn't it be 2012 through 2020? Shouldn't it be 2008, uh, 2012, 2020? Why is it 2019? We live in the year 2020. We're halfway through 2020. Why does it say 2019? That is my biggest uh, gripe in there. And also, why isn't Atlas uh, being credited? Shouldn't it be copyright Sega and copyright Atlas? Because in everything Persona and Shin Megami Tensei related that has been published by Sega after uh, they bought out Atlas, is Atlas still is given credit, you know, because they are the creators, they are devs, they are uh, things. And if you look at stuff like the, for instance, the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, copyright notice down there it says like copyright the year and you know, copyright copyright square enix uh developed by um by uh, idos it mentions crystal dynamics you know it mentions literally everyone so <laughs> it mentions the devs and mentions the old devs mentions new devs mentions um you know square enix it mentions everyone mentions it's basically super long and it mentions pretty much everyone who took part in the game if this is a persona 4 golden uh, you know, uh, page. Why doesn't it say copyright Sega Atlas, copyright Sega, copyright Atlas 2020 and not Sega 2019? It seems weird. Like, again, this is just a placeholder, so it could change. And again, maybe I'm just looking into meaning, into things that don't have any. But yeah, those are the three major discrepancies I found like the logo, the lack of little inverted commas, and like the copyright. Uh, notice down here, which again, I am gonna be uh, leaving a few links below so you can check it out for yourselves and compare and come to your own conclusions. Uh, now, of course, the biggest evidence to it being real right now that people are pointing at is the fact that, of course, the link has been taken down and only takes it to a 404. Uh, well, I'm for this, I want to take you back to when Catherine Full Body was about to release. There was like a major leak for that game. Major story leaks, actually, like towards the ending, uh, towards one of the new endings, and like a lot of the story involving Rin and, and whatnot. So, yeah, it is. It is a bit shady. Um, it was a bit shady because, you know, it was major leaks and everyone was reporting on it, just like they're reporting on this. However, now that the page has been taken down, everyone is talking about it. Uh, like, you can look at Kotaku articles, you can look at, like, uh, you know, stuff. I'm gonna be providing links below again. But so far, I haven't been able to find any links or any articles talking about the Catherine leaks being taken down. I haven't been able to find articles talking about the leaks themselves, but I haven't been able to find articles talking about Atlas or Sega taking down the leaks. Because, you know, you might think that major story spoilers like that would be taken down by Atlas and Sega, just like how they were, you know, taken down. And think about the current situation with, like, The Last of Us 2 leaks and what Naughty Dog and Sony have been doing with it. I haven't been able to find any information on Atlas and Sega doing that on the Catherine leaks, mostly because I think they were text-based, you know, those leaks were text-based and they weren't video-based. So, they... 
As far as I can tell, they did not take down the Catherine story leaks. As far as I've been able to find, they never did. Or if they did, they did very silently and no one ever <laughs> noticed. And, and again, why take down a simple support page, which is something that anyone can access, uh, and not take down like major story leaks? I don't know, seems fishy to me, but again, probably I'm just <laughs> overreacting, overthinking it. Uh, who knows? But it does seem a bit weird. Now, maybe it was because Catherine was under different circumstances when it was about to release. You know, we already knew of the game, we already knew it was coming to our side of the world, whatever. And of course, Persona 4 Golden hasn't even been announced yet, so... Maybe it's that... who knows? Uh, but yeah, those are some of the few problems I have with it, why, why I'm still skeptical. Uh, I love opening up discussion over these kinds of topics. And, yeah, those are the few discrepancies. Again, this is all purely speculation. I do not have any proof to any of my claims. I do not have... I'm just speculating over here. It's all I'm scripted. It's all... I'm basically just saying what I think. And, yeah. Anyway, uh, see you guys next time. Bye.